and to news from India after a highly successful 2023. India's space agency, ISRO, successfully launched the PSLV C-58 mission of X-ray Polarimeter Satellite or Exposat. The satellite has been launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota located in the state of Andhra Pradesh after it received a green light from the mission's director. So happy new year to all of you. So on 1st January 2024, yet another successful mission of PSLV has been accomplished. PSLV C-58 has placed the primary satellite Exposat in the desired orbit of 650 kilometer, 6 degree inclination. Exposat was launched into an eastward low inclination orbit at 9.10 a.m. local time today. The mission will be studying the 50 brightest known sources in the universe and also look to unravel the mystery of black holes. This is India's first dedicated polarimetry mission. ISRO now becomes the second space agency after NASA to send a specialized astronomy observatory to study black holes and neutron stars in the Milky Way. The new satellite seeks to understand the intricacies of bright celestial X-ray sources. It will examine their complicated dynamics under harsh circumstances. The Exposat spacecraft is carrying cutting-edge technology, which is designed particularly for low-Earth orbit exploration. The satellite's configuration is adapted from the IMS-2 bus platform, with the mainframe systems drawing from the heritage of IRS satellites. According to ISRO, the mission life will be about five years. Exposat carries two primary loads, payloads, Pollux, which is a polarimeter instrument that helps in taking X-rays. And the second payload is EXPECT, which studies the X-rays and timing in space. For more details on this, our correspondent Siddharth MP brings us this report. Listen in. Right on the first day of the year 2024, ISRO has started off by delivering a successful mission, PSLV C-58 Exposat. In the coming weeks, this Exposat, which is almost 650 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, will be able to study and analyze X-rays that come from various celestial sources. And it will also be able to analyze where it comes from, what are the nature of these X-rays, and what are the phenomena that cause these X-rays. So thereby, this will also eventually help understand black holes, neutron stars, and various mysteries of the universe. Let's remember that 2024 will be one of the most busiest years for the Indian Space Agency. ISRO chairman has termed it the year of Gaganyaan. India hopes to send astronauts to space and bring them back safely. As part of that, several tests are required and several unmanned missions or missions without astronauts are also required, perhaps with robots. So those missions will all be accomplished in 2024. ISRO's 2024 is not calendar year, it's the financial year. So it actually begins in April and it ends in March next year. So in this period, ISRO hopes to accomplish at least 12 launch missions and that's the target. From Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, Siddharth MP, Beyond World is One.